22 years old and I'm a senior here at Ole Miss. Um, so in 2013, I was 14 years old and I started having these weird moments every day that were kind of hard to explain, but I would just kind of blank out. And my mom took me to the local pediatrician and they said that it could be anxiety, migraines, or focal seizures. So I went to get an EEG on my brain and they found seizure activity on the right side. So next, the next step was to get an MRI on my brain and that's when they found a tumor the size of a golf ball on the right side of my brain. And from there, um, I had an eight hour brain surgery and that's when they realized that it was cancer. And my original diagnosis was anaplastic ependymoma grade three, which is a child's cancer um, and it's really high grade. Um, so I followed up with 33 rounds of brain radiation and I lost half of my hair where the radiation was. Um, and then I went to high school and I was on a dance team. I was doing good for two years and then I got re-diagnosed. Um, another brain surgery and then 33 more rounds except this time it was brain radiation and spine radiation. So I lost all my hair and my ability to eat, my ability to walk, and just a lot of my memory as well. Um, and since then, since St. Jude is a research hospital, um, they discovered a new type of brain cancer um, across the world. And unfortunately, that is what I actually had. And I got treated, um, they said they wouldn't change the treatment at all, so it wasn't like I got treated for not like nothing that wouldn't help. Um, so they're still studying that, and I do have a small tumor in my brain with, along with some scar tissue and uh, a cyst, which is causing more dangerous seizures than just a focal seizure. But until I have any more um, symptoms, I, we're just waiting. When I said every day in middle school, like I almost every day I got that like feeling when I kind of like dazed out. Um, I, it didn't seem alarming until we were, I was on my school's dance team and we were dancing for the entire school and that feeling happened and it made me forget my entire dance routine. And that's when I was like, and my mom was like, we need to go to a doctor because that's not like me. Um, original diagnosis, they gave me like 13 months to, or like that's what they expected, like how long I would live. But so she said, my doctor said like, you probably won't make it to your high school graduation. And then now I'm a senior here, which is awesome. Being a patient at St. Jude is kind of like dirty rush because they are everywhere all over the hospital since they're the number one donor to St. Jude. And my first time speaking, I'm an ambassador for St. Jude, so my first time speaking and sharing my story was in front of 300 tryouts from all over the country. That St. Jude actually sent them my video, but since I was rushing, like, they couldn't play it and they asked for another one and it was still the one that we watched actually had like my doctor in it um one of my best friends and then this little girl who i would see every single day i was walking out of the hospital and saint jude when you see the camera people you know it's going to be like someone famous or like something there was something going on so i asked i was like I asked the camera guy and he was like, I can't tell you. But then the CEO of ALSAC came out and he was like, oh my God, Allie, you're, you'll be the perfect person for this. And I was like, "For like, I don't know what's going on here. He was like, I want you to greet our friend Justin Timberlake. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I was like, can I like go put makeup on and like change clothes? And he was like, actually, this is him walking up right there. And he was like, he was like in the parking lot. Like, he came up 
and he was with um, Mike Conley and Marcus Saw from the Memphis Grizzlies, who I already knew um, a little bit, like not as close as I am with them now. So it was easy to have a conversation. He was so easy to talk to, and we were actually, I was sharing him with him, like my story, because he wanted to know. And we took a lot of pictures, but we talked so long, where like, one of the guys at St. Jude was like, okay, it's, it's time to uh, start actually like touring the hospital now. And he was like, I just want to talk to Allie all day. And so he saw me like at, at my absolute worst, but then, um, that was in September, I think. And then in November, um, Kelsey Ballerini, the country artist, invited me as her date to the CMAs. And this lady is like chasing me down. She's like, Allie, Allie. And I, it was Justin Timberlake's manager. And she was like, Justin, she's like a really outgoing lady. She's like, Justin is here. And like, it was actually Kelsey, it's time to go down the red carpet. So I had to be like, Oh, I'll come back. <laughs> and then, uh, so after we walked the red carpet, we went in and of course, like I was all like glammed out this time. So, um, we went back to his dressing room and the security guard was like, sorry, you can't come in. And then someone was like, this is Allie. And they were like, oh, okay. And then, so we got in there, we sang, I'll send you the video. We sang reunited. Reunited and it feels so good. And then ever since then, we've um, been in touch. I would consider him a friend.